When I was in high school, I joined the Health Academy at Seminole High School, and on the way home from a lacrosse game, I drove up on a motorcycle accident, and the guy was laying in the road. He, he really wasn't breathing very well, and so I opened this gentleman's airway and waited for the fire department to get there. And when they got there, they started doing their thing, and I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is definitely what I wanna do. I noticed that a lot of my coworkers were dying of cancer. It's not something that's talked around the firehouse, like we don't talk about cancer. And I wasn't too in tune with it, and so I got diagnosed with cancer. I got diagnosed with melanoma in 2006. I almost died. I got diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2013, and I didn't have those classic markers. I didn't have the, the markers that that would make me have cervical cancer. When my doctor found the lesion, she went through my chart. She was like, where did this come from? Where did it come from? And I said, my job. I started doing some research and I found that firefighters had a 9% higher chance of getting cancer and 14% higher chance of dying of cancer. So after doing some more research, I found that for Florida, specifically for Florida firefighters, melanoma was the number one cancer, and that's what I had as well. When we walk into the doctor's office, it's not like, hey, what's the treatment plan? What's the prognosis? It's how much longer do I have to live? Because when we get diagnosed with cancer, we get late stage aggressive cancers that usually kill us within months. Florida Hospital has been great. I went to see Dr. Holloway and I was a nervous wreck. I was almost in tears and he just kind of put his hand on my shoulder and he says, everything's gonna be okay, you're gonna be fine. We got this. And that was just enough to know that I was gonna be in good hands. I started doing the pink shirt awareness, breast cancer awareness for the fire department. I am the coordinator for Seminole County Fire Department. I outfit about 400 guys in pink shirts for the month of October. And I was looking for a place to donate and I found Florida Hospital Foundation and um, donated probably over $30,000 to the Florida Hospital Foundation for mammograms and, and kid cancers and palliative care type stuff, so. I also started advocating in Tallahassee. One of the big things I did was I brought almost 230 sets of boots up to Tallahassee and I put it on the steps of the Capitol with their pictures and their names. It's not a statistic to me. These are my brothers and sisters. These are the people that I knew that passed away. And I want legislators to know that firefighter cancer is real. This isn't a joke, that we are dying left and right of this. One of the things I've done is I started running in my fire gear and I carry the pictures of my brothers and sisters that uh, have passed or who is fighting. And usually I have pictures of the ones that are fighting now right on my chest to say, hey, I'm running for you. The biggest key thing that I can tell everybody is know your bodies, get your annual exams. That's, that's the only thing I can stress about this whole message is early detection saves lives. Because I survived, I feel like this is, this is what I have to do. I have to do it for my brothers and sisters that, that can't do this. My name is Jazz Lombo. I'm a firefighter, an advocate, and I am a cancer survivor.